Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold your resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer where Windows cannot communicate with the device or resource, and specifically the primary DNS server. So if you come across this issue when attempting to troubleshoot your network connection, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hope you resolve it without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'm going to suggest would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, should say command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in ipconfig, followed by a space, forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word, attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard, should come back a Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, once again exactly how you see it on my screen, and hit enter. Successfully reset the WinSock catalog, you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer at this time. And then hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. If you're still having that primary DNS server error, something else we could try as well would be to reset our network settings back to default. I do want to caution you guys that once you're done with the next step, you will need to restart your computer. And you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once you restart, you will need those in order to get back on the internet. So just want to put that out there quick. And now that that has been addressed, open up the search menu, type in network reset. Best result should come back with network reset. Go ahead and open that up. So this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the reset now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select the yes and then close out of here. And you will need to restart your computer at this time. So let's just go ahead and manually do that. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.